Hey guys, it's great to see you again. In this lecture, we'll start working on the sign in view. It's going to be very similar to what we've done to the sign up view. So let's just copy over some common methods now. We're going to worry about factoring code later. First of all, we'll also handle the blank text field issue. So let's copy the handle text field method over. That's the function call. Let's copy over its implementation. Note that we don't need the username stuff. All right. And we also need the text field did change method. So let's see, let's uh, copy that over too. And then remove anything related to username too. All right. Okay. Good. Now, anything signed up should be changed to sign in. We haven't created this outlet for the sign in button. So let's do it. Let's option click the start storyboard to open it in the assistant editor. Then create an IB outlet for the sign in button by control, dragging it to the sign in view controller code. Note that we've just named this property sign in button because that's what we're using below. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if our cool validating features work smoothly. Notice how the sign in button changes when we fill out the form. Fantastic. All right. Right now, when we click the sign in button, the app switch, the app switches to the tab bar controller. This is how we designed initially. However, similar to the sign up view, we should make sure that we logged users in first before switching views. So let's now take care of the authentication part, then see how we switch views appropriately later. So let's delete this say you. We'll worry about it later. Similar to the sign up view, we're going to need an IB action to log users in after the touch. For consistency, we're going to name it sign in button touch up inside. And remember to make this an action. All right. We simply choose a similar action name to that of the sign up button. Okay, we no longer need the storyboard. Let's close it down and focus on coding up the sign in features. All right. Similar to the sign up stuff, we're going to use tools from the FIR auth class in the F Firebase authentication package. So let's first import this package to the sign in view controller. Now let's create an instance of the FIR auth class to use its sign in tools. A quick way to proceed is to simply re simply search for sign in in the suggestion field. There's one specifically for signing in with the email and password. The email input is simply the text content of the email text field. This also applies to the to the password parameter. So we use the text property of the password text field. Okay. And completion is a closure in which we do whatever we like to the authenticated user or to the returned error. In particular, if the authentication fails, meaning if something in the error object, for simplicity, let's just return to ignore everything else in this method. We can also print out the error description to keep track of what's going on. Wait, where's the suggestion? Okay, there's an error. We forgot to unwrap the text content of the password text field. Okay, now we should just see the suggestions. Great. Now, if the error is nil, is nil, meaning the authentication process succeeded, let's print out the authenticated user because we reckon there might be information in it. Actually, let's print out the email of this user. If it doesn't really matter what you choose to print, actually. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Let's use an existing email we used before, like zero to launch.io at gmail.com, the password being 123456, and then sign in. Okay, good. Good. The authenticated email was printed out to the console. This is the email of the authenticated user. All right, we can log users in without any problem. 
Now let's see how we switch views after that. A simple way is to ask the sign in view controller to perform a seg you to switch to the tab bar controller. We can quickly find that method by searching for perform something. Then we can see the perform seg you method. Here with identifier is simply the string identification of the seg you we want to perform. Let's say if we have one with this identifier and set sender to nil, we use it to pass data between the switched views, but we don't need that now. All right, now let's create the segu in the storyboard. Let's replace the segu we deleted at the beginning of the lecture by control drag from this sign in view controller to the storyboard references, then choose present modally. Now in the attribute inspector of this segu, let's set its identifier to whatever we, we used in the source code. Basically, we ask the sign in view controller to initiate this segu after the sign in process succeeded. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's try the user we used before. Okay. And sign in. We expect the app to switch to the tab bar view after the authentication process succeeded. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the sign up view controller. Actually, let's option click the sign in view controller to open it in the assistant editor and copy over the perform segu method to where we finished creating a new user and uploading the user information to the database. This segu should be different from the one from the sign in view controller. As before, let's go back to the start storyboard to create this sign up to tab bar VC segu. This segue should be initiated by this sign up view controller. So let's control drag from this sign up view controller to the storyboard reference. Then choose present modally. Good. Now link this segue to the one we use in the source code. All right, let's see. Actually, we're good. Let's check it out. Okay. Do. -do, -do. All right. Okay, here's the app. All right, let's see. We've already tested our sign in feature. Now let's check out the signing up and switching view features. As before, let's choose a profile photo for this new user. Then fill out the sign up form. The sign up button will be disabled until each text field at least has something in it. If things are good, it will be highlighted and enabled. Then we can tap the button to sign up our new user. If this process succeeded, the app will switch view. All right, great. Let's check out the database. All right. Yep, that's the new user. See you next time.